everybody out there in Facebook land. It's Barb here from barbstamps.com and I'm back and I'm frazzled and I just barely made it. So I hope everyone's fine. I might have to rub in my highlight a little bit. I think I got a little carried away with it. Um, yay. I hope everyone has had a fantastic few weeks. I'm so sorry that I wasn't live. I know you guys miss me and I miss you too. Um, I was just, oh gosh, there's so many family things going on right now. It's just nuts here. Um, and so I really wanted to be live what was it last week? But then I decided I wanted to stay with my daughter. So I wasn't. Um, so anyways, I know you guys understand most of you are ladies and I'm sure a lot of you have children and a lot of you probably have grown children who are gone. Um, and that's very sad when they're gone. Um, I guess she's not really gone. I mean, she's like four hours away, but you know, you can't just jump in the car and drive a couple blocks and hang out with her for the evening and then go home. So anyway, um, yeah, I actually stayed with her like two days longer than I originally planned to because I had kind of forgotten, but not totally forgotten. My brother, um, had a bunch of vacation that he needed to take. And so he told me a couple months ago that he was planning to come. Him and his wife were going to take a road trip at the beginning of June and they wanted to know if they could stay with us for a few days. And I said, absolutely, you can stay with us for a few days. Well, I kind of forgot that that was going to be at the beginning of June. So when I was visiting my daughter, I had been there um, almost a week, I think. I think it was like Thursday. I had gotten there Friday, and I think it was Thursday of the next week. And he messaged me, and he said, or maybe it was Wednesday. I guess it doesn't make any difference. And he said, hey, you know, we are on our way, and we are going to, we're planning to be in Denver tomorrow, and then we're going to drive up to Laramie to see Jaden. Um, can we stay with you for a few days? Because he didn't know I was visiting my daughter. And I said, hey, I'm here right now. So I'll hang out for an extra day and I'll hang out with you. So him and his wife showed up on Friday, which that's the day I actually planned on going home was Friday, last Friday. And so him and his wife showed up and it was really nice to see him because I missed him at Christmas. They did not come. They usually, he always comes here for Christmas. But, you know, my mom had passed away a couple years ago and um, his mother his wife's mother is living with them now she's like 90 some years old and so they're just terrified of covid and i totally get that so he did not come and visit us at christmas so i haven't seen him for a really long time so i was like absolutely i'll wait for you so they came friday and then he followed me home on saturday so i gosh i've oh, i haven't worked for ugh, so long you guys and i can tell i can tell you know I, in my orders i haven't gotten any orders um the work is just piled up behind me and it's almost like you get in this weird funk like you don't work for so long it's almost like you don't know how you come home and you're just like what and when i came home I couldn't work because him and his wife were right behind me. So I had to, they were a couple hours behind me. So I had to quickly like clean everything, strip beds, remake beds. Um, so they had some place to sleep. And of course, you know, I haven't seen him for a couple of years. So I wasn't about to um, work while he's here. I did try to work a little bit. I mean, I usually get up pretty early. So I get up around 5, 5.30 and I worked for mm, two or three hours, uh, which is about, mm, you know, 10 hours short of the number of hours I normally work. So anyways, so they were here for three days. They left yesterday. And so, you know, it was really nice to see him. And, you know, the work, we'll just have to wait. My family has got to come first sometimes. And then, of course, on Saturday, my husband's mother is celebrating her 80th birthday. And we have to go out of town for that. So my daughter is now here again. Ugh. It's almost like too much family. But it's not too much family because family is good and I love my family but it's like, Barb has got to work. So I scrambled today to try to get some projects for you guys. Um, I didn't shower. My hair's a disaster. The gray is just uncontrollable. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have to go see a bunch of family members with this lovely skunk stripe down the middle of my head. <sighs> I just need to breathe and just need to say, and it is what it is. What can you do? So anyways, let me see if anybody's got any um, interesting comments for me or anything. Oh, a lot of you were just saying hi. Hello, everyone. It's so good to see you. Barbara, Debbie, Donna, Bonnie, Nicole. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I apologize again for being gone for so long. I don't know how long... Gosh, ever since my mom passed away, I have been really consistent with my Thursday night Facebook lives and I had a lot of guilt not being here. I mean, not enough guilt to not, you know, to leave my daughter and come here, but I did have a lot of guilt. So, but I'm back. 
So anyways, I do have something fun, kind of fun to show you. And I'll show you again when I flip the camera. But my daughter likes to do some uh, kind of crafty things. She's not a stamper at all. She can run my stamp and cut and emboss machine and I do use her for that. But she's a little more kind of free handy artsy ish. And so she likes to paint on canvas. And so I had asked her if she would make me a little sign for my stamp room. And she did. And I realize it's probably backwards and I'll show it again when I flip the camera. But isn't that fun? I mean, that's just totally my personality and it's totally some of the funnest colors that I just love. So she freehanded the whole thing for me. Um, and yeah, it's just a little canvas. We got them at Walmart, pretty cheap, you know, with those 50 cent um, acrylic paint bottles, you know. And so, yeah. Oh, I think we have a troll. Hold on. I got to get rid of this guy. Oh, wait, somebody might have already gotten rid of him. Nope. We are blocking you, Ibrahim, or whatever your name is. So, bye. Okay. So we got rid of him, and I think we're good. Oh, looks like he was commenting a lot. So, good. Well, goodbye. Okay. Anyway, so as I was saying, my daughter made my fabric. So I need to figure out where to put it. I kind of want to put it, like, right in front of me. You guys obviously can't see that, but um, I kind of want to put it right in front of me because I want to look at it because I love it, and it's so much fun. Could you use the new linen paper? You know, Denise, I really don't know. Um... I don't know, maybe. But this is what she's been working with. She's made quite a few of these types of things for herself and for her friends. So she's familiar with working with it. Um, and so that's just what we decided to go with. Um, it's possible. So anyway, I'm going to hang that up in here somewhere. And yeah. So, gosh, what else is going on? Um, yeah, we're leaving again. Craziness. My daughter got a job, so yay for her. She's going to be a waitress at Perkins. So um, she said it was pretty lonely in her house without me there after I left uh, because her two roommates um, are not there in the summer. They leave and go home. So she said she's kind of lonely, which I totally get, you know. I mean, I'm a pretty isolated person and I pretty much work down in this room all day, every day, and I don't have a lot of interaction with other people, of course, except my, my family, my husband and my son. So I can totally get where... Um, if there was nobody around, it would be kind of lonely. So anyways, I gave her another project. She loves also making friendship bracelets. And she does some really fancy designs. And so when we were, uh, when I was visiting her, we went to, where did we go? I think it was a Hobby Lobby in Fort Collins. And they had a ton of DMC floss down there. And that's what kind she likes to use. And so I picked out a bunch of new colors and she made me an anklet. And I can't. I'm not coordinated enough to lift my leg up to show you. So you'll just have to trust me that it's amazing. But it's very similar to this. And it's very bright and fun. And yeah. Okay. So I think after having said all that, I mean, and I'm sure I'm going to think of some things along the way. Because we had a fantastic time. We just went shop, 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 shopping. We even drove down to Denver. Which it has been a hot minute since I have driven I've been a passenger, but it's been a hot minute since I have driven in Denver. And let me tell you, if it's another hot minute before I ever do that again, it'll be too soon. Just saying. I live in a town of 16,000 people. So to go from a town of 16,000 people and drive into some crazy traffic in a place that's got three and a half million, whoa, culture shock. So anyway, uh, yeah, I did do that for her because... She really wanted to go down there and go shopping. So, yeah. Ooh, Bonnie says that she says, I hear your besties are coming to visit you soon. They are. So, I'm just, there's so much going on, you guys. They're coming on Monday. Uh, it'll be late, like 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. But, yeah, they're coming on Monday. So, ee, I can hardly wait. So, I got to strip the beds again, make the beds again, because they got to have their own rooms. You know, I just... That's how we roll here in Wyoming. Um, and so, yeah, I'm super excited. And we're all a little bit frazzled because they had gone on the Maui trip. Um, so they had gotten a little bit backed up for that. And I didn't go to that, but then I went and visited my daughter. And then I got a little backed up. So we're, both, we're all kind of going a little bit crazy. But we have uh, big plans to get a lot of work done while we're here. And, of course, you know, I have all the the stamping stuff. So they're just going to bring a few bundles and whatever, you know, the things that I might not have so that we can have a large variety of things to play with. And we're going to get some of our online classes hammered out. Uh, we're going to shoot the videos for those. Uh, we've got 
um, some Stamp Happy Live stuff to discuss. Um, I'll be live on Monday. If you guys are Stamp Happy Live members, I will be live on Monday. Kelly's going to be live tomorrow, and Dina will be live after they get back home. So anyways, there's a lot going on for all of us and probably I'm sure you guys too. I mean, it's summertime. It just gets crazy in the summertime. I don't know uh, why that is. Why does everything go crazy in the summer? But yeah, it does. So um, anyway, I think, like I said, I'm going to I'm trying to see if I'm obviously I'm live. You guys are talking to me and you're watching me and then I've got some troll guy on here telling me he loves me really. Um, so anyway, yeah, I guess I am. Uh oh. Sometimes when I try to get on my iPad, if I don't have the sound turned off, then you get to hear like barb in stereo and that's just, that's just not good. Okay. So I think we are, we are ready to flip it. Um, and then I'll show you my fantastic sign again. And as you guys know, I always have to do my dinking around with my camera mount. So close your eyes if this is going to, you know, irritate you at all. Um, I know it irritates me, but I have not gotten a new thing yet to uh, make this work the way that I would like it to work. So anyway, and I think it's super crooked. Oh, maybe it's not as crooked as I thought. Can I even fix this without destroying everything behind the scenes? It's a big mess, you guys. Okay, so here is my sign again. <gasps> Isn't that fun? Has June's classes been as a uh, Denise, I just put mine up on my blog today and I listed the one on Stamp Happy Academy. But if you guys are interested in seeing what my online class, well, I'm going to tell you right now too, but you can always go to my blog at barbstamps.com um, and you can see um, that information there and then you can purchase those um, kits from my website there. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to leave that up there for a while so you guys could appreciate how beautiful it is. It's just so fun and bright and I love it. Okay. Um, also, if you guys are not aware, Stampin' Up! has a kit collection going on now, and this is one of them. This is like my most favorite one, and it's called Notes of Cheer, and I did have my daughter throw uh, each one of these together. There's three different cards that this makes, and there's no stamping in this particular kit. It's just assembly, and so I had her put one of everything together, and aren't they cute? Yay! And it's a, how much, how many cards does it actually make? Three, six, nine. It makes nine. And so you have all the supplies, all the die cuts, all the fancy jewels. And these jewels are really nice. These are just like our in color jewels that we, that just came back in the store. As a matter of fact, in case you didn't know, they're back in stock. And look how fun they are. Yeah. So, anyways, I think this is like $12. It's a super cute kit. But there are a ton of them. Um, and so if you're interested in something that's quick and easy, um, that you don't have to put much thought into, you could like do it while you're watching TV, then, uh, the kits are, um, amazing. Okay. So this is my create where you are class to go for the month of June. And my create where you are class to go includes eight or includes the supplies to make eight cards. There's two each of four designs. They come with envelopes. They come with instructions. They come with links to videos. And this particular kit also comes with. Well, the bundle is separate, obviously. It comes with a quarter pack of the In Color Designer Series paper, uh, a package of the In Color Jewels, a five six by six sheets of the Shimmer Vellum, and I am going to use it on a card today, so I'll show you that up close and personal. And then a half a roll of each of these ribbons, the Fresh Freesia and the Polished Pink, as well as a set of embossing folders. And what did I do with those? Um, found them. They're not on my list. So now I have to go back and recreate my graphic again. Oh, I'm telling you, my brain is just mush. Anyway, um, I am including the thanks and hello embossing folders. If you already have these and you want the kit or no, what am I? Is this a, yes. But if you, if you do buy the kit and you already have these, you can tell me, Hey, Barb, I need a different set of the mini folders and I can get you whatever set you want. But these are the thanks and hello. So they're really fun. And I literally just got my box today. So I don't even have these run through because I'm lame and backed up and I just, I just couldn't do it, but they're amazing. So that's $45. If you want to add the bundle, it's an extra 56. All the links are in the description of this video. Ooh, Jean, we're supposed to have some pretty strong winds today, so but we aren't supposed to get the hail and everything that I think you guys are going to get. So prayers to you, because hail is not good. All right, our other online, this is our online class. This is the one that Kelly Dean and I collaborate on. 
but you can purchase your kits from any of us. Um, so it's the Sweet as a Peach, and it's going to be nine cards. And it's going to, in your kit, you're going to get the papaya, white and um, papaya ribbon. I think I have that here because I'm going to use it today. Let me find it. Here it is. It's the papaya ribbon with this nice white border on the edge of it. So we're using that. We're also using linen thread and a half a pack of champagne rhinestones. Um, that's the kit. If you want the whole shebang that I call it, you that would include the bundle, the Sweet as a Peach bundle, the dots and checks embossing folders, which of course can be substituted if you already have those, the Euro Peach DSP, the ribbon, linen thread, and the champagne rhinestones. And of course, the class and the cardstock kit are free with that option, and it's $95. The class 45 online only is 20. This will be ready on, I think it's May 25th. My all squared away class will be ready next Friday, June 18th. Ooh, my Totally Techniques online club, you guys. This is the card that I made for them for the month of May. It's called Water Stamping. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? It uses, let me find it here. Um, hmm. Maybe I'm not going to find it. Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, I left it out before I left. So it's the Seascape stamp set and the Sea Life dies. And so you can see that I used the, what do you call this stuff? Seaweed to do my water stamping. And I have a video for this on my YouTube channel. And the link to my YouTube channel is in the description of this video. And you can find out how to do water stamping. Here's another card. Um, no two cards will be the same just because that's the nature of the technique, but they're both very cool. And then here is the technique card. So this gives the directions. Everyone who's in the club gets the card and the instruction card and I, the link to the video. Um, and so this is my instruction card. So I have used the Majestic, Majestic Mountains, I think it's called. That doesn't sound right. Anyway, look how cool that is. Yep. Now this one didn't turn out quite as cool. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Maybe I spritzed more water on this stamp than I did on this one. But anyway, so that's my Totally Techniques Online Club. If you purchase $30 or more from me each month using my host code, I will send you your cards. And then after six months of consecutively ordering from me, I'll give you a $30 gift certificate. Um, I still have some hand panned kits left and you can still get the whole shebang. This isn't going to retire till, well, maybe next June if they don't keep it in the catalog. So you've got time. Um, but I think I have about six or seven kits left. So if you, you do want the kit, then obviously you need to get that quickly so that you can get the kit. Um, my flowers of friendship class to go. Um, I think I have five or six of those left also. And of course, the bundle is super inexpensive. You can add that to your kit for $46.75. A really great option there. Ooh, the Connect Craft and Collect special ends on the 14th of June, you guys. So if any of you are interested in having your own party, placing your own order, Mountain Air, thank you, Terry. That stamp set that I used was called Mountain Air. Um, you get an extra $25 if you spend $250. So I'm not really sure how many $250 I have spent, but I have gotten a lot of extra stuff for free. Let's just say that. Um, yeah. So there you go. Um, Stamp Happy Academy. I always have to talk about this because it is so amazing. Um, we are going to be doing some different, uh, maybe some different things or adding some stuff to Stamp Happy Academy in the future. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but we're working on always, um, adding more value to the, um, academy for you um and so if you're interested in joining us you can do so for a basic membership is only $19.95 that gets you all four of our online classes a month the two that i just showed you for june the all squared away and the sweetest peach and kelly has one and i don't know what she's using and i don't know what dean is using either but there's four every month and that's $19.95 and that's also free if you're a team member of ours so if you sign up on any of our uh demonstrator teams you get the basic membership for free. It's just a perk that we like to give to our team members. Then you can upgrade to the premium if you like live events similar to this, but better um, for an extra $15. So the premium includes the basic plus three live classes a month for $34.95. Or if you only like stamping live with us, you can get that for just 20 bucks. All the information is at stamphappyacademy.ning.com. And I would love for you to join me. Um, I still have adhesive kits for sale. Um, I'll have those as long as Stampin' Up! makes adhesive, I guess. So um, links to that's in the description of this video. Um, and then I have one Dragonfly Garden 
class to go left. I was rummaging through my box of classes and I always cut extras more than I actually have sold at the moment just because I know people find me later on and then want to order something. I have one of these left. Um, of course, the paper is retiring at the end of June because we have the, what is it? The last chance list. And I need to post this on my blog. I think I sent out an email, but I got to post it. Anyways, there's a lot of stuff on sale. You can see there's 50, 40, 50% off. Lots of things. Things have sold out already. Everything is available while supplies last, including stamp sets. So um, you can check that out in the online store at shoppingwithbarb.com. You can see what's all on sale. And if you need something, I would love for you to order it from me. Okay, one of those left. All right, we are done with all the blah, blah, blah. And we're going to stamp now. So let me bring something to stamp. Ooh, let's bring this. Okay, we're going to use the Stamparatus today for a project. And I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of what it's going to look like. It's going to look like this. Some of you um, that are demonstrators that watched my on tour presentation using the Flowers of Friendship bundle, um, I did share a little bit about this card, but I'm going to share a lot more about it today as I'm going to make it for you. And we are going to, um, oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. We're going to make the whole thing. I guess that's what I was going to say. I don't know. My life is a it's just really frazzling right now, and I feel like I haven't worked for so long that I don't even know how to work anymore. So please bear with me, and I apologize for my craziness. Okay, we're using the Flowers of Friendship bundle, so I'm going to get out that long skinny stamp. And we are going to bring in some paper. So I have a three and three quarter by five inch piece of pale papaya cardstock, and I'm going to start by placing it on my Stamparatus. So that is two sections. Can you guys see that? Am I in the frame? I think I am now. So it's two, two squares down from the top and three squares from the right. So I have two rows above me, three rows to the side. And I'm just going to line this up, put my magnets on. Okay. And then I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to kind of line it up at the top-ish. And I'm going to line it up so I have, oh, maybe a quarter inch on that side of the stamp and about an eighth of an inch on that side. Okay. Press it, pick it up. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that it's kind of straight on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the grid lines on the plate. And I don't know if you guys can see those. They are a little bit hard to see. But I'm putting the edge of the flower right at, on the line. On the little grid line and so I'm kind of following it across and hoping that all of my flowers are going along that line okay put that back into the stamparatus and then I'm going to bring in my ink I've got pale papaya ink and I'm just gonna place my stamp set under there just for um, stability and I'm gonna ink up my stamp and I'm going to stamp it easy enough. We're going to do the hinge stamping. So we're going to move it down one. We're going to ink it up again and we're going to stamp it. And then we're going to move it down again. And we're just going to keep doing that until we have all of the hinges used, at least as far as we can go with the cardstock. So there we go. Press that down. And I think we can do one more. So we'll ink it up again, pick it up. And then you want to make sure before you actually press it into place that your magnet's not in the way. And my magnet is just barely out of the way. So we'll do that. Then I'm going to move the cardstock a little bit. I'm going to move it all the way to the top and I'm going to move it one row over. So now I have nothing showing at the top and two rows showing at the bottom. Okay. And when I put my second magnet back on here, I'm going to put it on a row that I already stamped because otherwise it's a little bit harder because my, um, my stamped images are going to be a little bit closer to this edge. And so if I don't move my magnet, then I'm going to run into it. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to ink it up. We're going to press it down. We're going to do the old hinge step stamp here. So this is like so simple. And this little stamp is just so cute. Oh, I'm going to get that. We're going to leave it because it's going to be fine and we're going to ink it up again you can see how my magnet is just 
perfectly out of the way doing it like that. Pick it up one last time, and here we go. All right. And now I can't see any comments, so I don't know. Are you guys commenting, or is everyone just so engrossed in what I'm doing that nobody has anything to say? Oh my gosh, you do have. No, you don't. Or do you? No, there's no comments. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Jeez, I'm sorry. Okay, looks like Terry was my last commenter. All right, so we have that done. So we're going to pull that off the Stamparatus, and we can clean this off. I have a chamois here somewhere. Oh, it's not very wet, though. Well, it's fine. It'll work. So we're just going to clean that off just so that when I fold it back over onto my Stamparatus, that it's not going to get ink everywhere. Okay. Engrossed in what you're doing. Okay, Jean, perfect. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Sometimes you don't know. If all of a sudden you're not live anymore and you're just sitting there talking to yourself, you know. Oh, Susan says her comments. I do see that comment, Susan. You just said not sure why my comments aren't showing up. And I don't have any idea either. Facebook is a funny bird. Sometimes it likes people and sometimes it don't. It don't? That's horrible grammar. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, and you never know what you're going to get with Facebook. So, all right. So we have a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of pale papaya. We're going to fold that in half. And then burnish it with the old bone folder. Probably should have scored that first, but I didn't. But I think it's going to be fine. Because we're going to have this black layer on there, and I think that's going to take away from... Yeah, it's going to be fine. Okay, so then I have a black layer that is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth that we're going to layer this onto. I think we're going to do it like this. Okay. And then I have a circle cut from my layering circle framelits. This is number... I think it's 5. Number six, I was wrong. So I have a number six layering circle framelit, and I'm going to stamp a sentiment on that. I need, oh, where's my stamp set? Here we go. I need my sentiment. Thank you for everything. And I need a block. Here's one. And I know someone's going to ask me, where did I get these blocks? These are Stampin' Up! blocks. These are just some kind of a window cling that Stampin' Up! used to sell they don't anymore and I, I hate myself for using them because I know you guys some of you want them and you can't get them and I hate doing that but I, I need them <laughs> I need them in order to stamp so I have to keep using them I'm sorry okay so there's my sentiment and then whoops I need that back I'm going to stamp some flowers so I've got one of the large ones here and I'm going to stamp that near the end of my paper and then my small one, I'm going to stamp it in the shape of an X down here. But I'm going to leave some space in between because the way the punch punches, it kind of punches into the next one if you put them too close together. But before I do that, I am going to use a sponge dauber. And I need to see if I have one for pale papaya. Um, I do not. Hold on. Let me get a new one. Now we're going to have one for pale papaya. Okay. What did I do with the... Oh, here it is. So what I want to do is I kind of want to use a sponge dauber to color these in. Okay. So if I just try to sponge onto them, it's going to kind of make a mess. So I have this little template that I've created by... I just did my... I just punched my card. Where is my punch? Ugh. I'm telling you, the struggle is real. So I just took this piece. This is like a scrap, obviously. Um, I just took the scrap and I just did a punch. But then I used scotch tape to put some of them back together, except the large one for the moment, because I want to be able to add my color to this image without making a big mess. So we're going to try this. I have done it before. I did it on the card I showed you earlier. So we're just going to pick up some ink. We don't want it to be too dark, so we're going to, well, that's way too dark. We're going to tap some of it off, and then I'm just going to kind of come in here and just add a little bit out from the center, so I'm not trying to go too crazy, but I do want to add some color just coming out from the center of the flower, just a little bit. Okay, I think that's probably good. And then when we pick that up, so we haven't gone too crazy 
So whereas if I, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm not making any sense, which would not be surprising, honestly. Um, so if I had an image on there, I'm going to let it dry for a second so it doesn't get all over my dauber while I work on the next ones. So the next one I have, oh, I need to make another template. Whoops. See what happens when you're gone for too long. You literally don't have any idea what you're doing. Oh, I guess you can see me make the template now. So now I want a template for the small flower. So I am just going to flip that over and I got to figure out which way this goes in there. Oh, my. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's upside down. <laughs> That's exactly what the problem is. <laughs> so if it doesn't work one way, flip it upside down and then do it that way. So I'm going to tape this down so that there's no opening that I'm going to come in contact with when I'm trying to stamp my or color with my small flower. Same with that leaf and then same with this leaf. And I realize this is a bit of a putz uh, way to do things, but I really like the look of it. So, okay, so now we have our small one here and we can do the same thing. So we can lay the small template over and there's probably still some left on here. Because again, I don't want to be too crazy with it. I don't want it to be super dark and super annoying. There we go. So we have that. And then we can scoot it over to this one. And now we may need to add a tiny bit of ink. So we'll just barely dab it in there. And then I'm kind of using a light pouncing pressure. I'm not like stabbing it on there and I'm not really twisting it hard. I'm just kind of going pretty light so that I can monitor how much ink I'm getting. And then it's easier to add ink but it's not easy to take it off. Hello, Robin. Thanks for joining us. Okay, and then we're gonna move over to this one. Tap it in there, tap it off, and we're gonna try this again. So we're gonna have two small flowers and a large flower with a small flower in it. Okay, so you can see how nicely that looks. It's not kind of crazy outside, but if I don't, use a template and I try to add ink, it's just really hard to keep it contained where you might want it. And, and the only reason you would do this is because you like the look of a sponged flower. I mean, you could easily color it with markers, you could color it with pencils, whatever, but I kind of like the sponged look sometimes. And so that's kind of what I was going for. So there's a little tip and here's the card that I did. You can see I did the same thing. This one I got a little heavy handed on. This one's not quite as dark. Um, so you just can kind of uh, make it as light or as dark as you want. So now we're just gonna punch them out. So the large one there and we'll get the small ones here. And you can see since I stamped them a little bit apart from each other that I'm good. I'm not gonna be cutting into the next one. So that's just a uh, tiny bit of a tip there. And actually, I'm going to think I'm going to get this one first because I almost was not, I was a little bit too close to that next one. Okay. And then our last one here, there. Oh my, what's going on in this room? There's stuff falling all over the place. It's actually scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> okay. Where's my other little flower? Oh, I need the big one. Okay, so all this is garbage. I'm going to keep my templates for um, the future when I want to do this technique again. And I actually have another card for you that I did the same technique on. Here is one that I designed using a kind of a, a cattywampus diagonal cut piece of designer series paper. And I did the flowers in Daffodil Delight. So we're going to have three different colors here, but they all look amazing. Okay. So now we're going to kind of do this whole assembly thing here. I know this took a long time to get done. What the heck? Like I'm telling you, I'm, to I'm totally out of it. I haven't even stamped anything for how long? Oh my gosh. Well, I had to do a few swaps while I was gone, but literally I haven't really stamped anything either. I just really feel out of sorts, but I can see. <laughs> so that's awesome. I actually went to the eye doctor on... Tuesday morning and got my new prescription and so my new glasses will be here hmm, I think in about a week they told me maybe a little bit longer so anyways I'm really excited about that okay so we're going to put this on here like this but I do want to add my circle and I want to add some ribbon behind the circle so when you have a little bit wider ribbon like this is this is a great way to use it 
uh, without like adding a ton of bulk to your projects. Like you wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily want to tie a knot with this and stick it on my card just because it's going to be so, so bulky. So this is a really great way to kind of use some of that larger ribbon um, in a different way. So I'm going to end up adding this like this, but I want to center it first. And then I'm going to use some scotch tape to keep it on the back. Okay. So let me grab some scotch tape here. And there we go. Easy enough. And then we'll have this, I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter there. And I'm going to add that to my card like that. I need some dimensionals. Ooh, look at that. I have some already cut. Yay me. Notice I'm not putting the dimensionals on the ribbon because that's just going to add that much more bulk. I mean, the ribbon isn't super bulky by itself, but if you start adding more things to it, then it's going to get a little bit bulky. And the post office doesn't like that. They don't like us to make our cards really bulky. They get mad and then they charge you extra. So, not that I don't ever do it because I absolutely do, but sometimes I try to be a little mindful of that. So I'm going to add this without any dimensionals onto the card base. And is that crooked? No, but it seems like it's not quite centered. So let me just adjust this slight bit. Ooh, my daughter's upstairs making me dinner, you guys. So when I'm done with you guys, I get to go have dinner that I didn't have to make. Yay. Okay. So then for our flowers, where's my card that I was copying? Here it is. We need to add our flower. So we're going to add a small one to a large one. And I'm just going to do that with a dimensional, I think. So we'll just pop that right in the center of the flower. And then I do like to pull my petals up with my finger. So I just kind of hold it there in the center and kind of pop it up a little bit. I just feel like that. It's just, I love the extra dimension that that gives. And now I need some glue dots. Oh, here they are. Thinking, how would happen to my glue dots while I was gone for, gosh, I feel like I haven't been in my stamp room for a year, but it's only been like a couple weeks. Okay, so I'm going to add that about like this. And then I'm going to take another small one and I'm just going to kind of tuck that in under that, bring in this, and then we're going to bring in, so on my, on this purple card that I have here, my original one, um, since I was designing it for a specific thing for the Stampin' Up! On Tour event, I had to use specific products that they had given me. And they had given me Genial Gems and I colored them black with one of our black Stampin' Blend markers. But I'm going to use our black... Um, what are they even called? Like epoxy dots or something? I, I don't know. I can't keep the names of all this stuff straight. Where are they? Ugh. I've got, oh, here we go. There they are. Okay. Got all these embellishments and I need to figure out a way to store them. They're just kind of in a little bucket off to the side here and I, I don't know what to do with them. Maybe when Kelly and Dina come, they can help us figure it out. Okay, let's see. Do I have missed any comments? Uh, half here. It's rainy. Oh, somebody's wishing it was rainy. Yeah, I, I agree. It's been a little hot here, too. Um, okay, never seen that technique. Oh, yay! I'm glad I could share something new with you guys. Or maybe that was a long time ago. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Forget that I said anything. Uh, one moment, please. I'm having a hot flash. Let me take my jacket off. Whew, okay. Now I need my take your pick tool. And honestly, I cannot believe that I'm hot because since I've gotten home, it's been freezing down here in my basement. Like the air conditioning has been on and somebody left the vents open to the basement. And so the air conditioning has been coming into the basement where it's already, you know, like a constant 55 or 60 degrees all year long. And now it's really cold down here. So anyway, okay. Wow, that card took so much time. We're going to have to hurry <laughs> on the next one. So it's just ridiculous. But here it is. <laughs> here it is with its friend. And <laughs> we will get moving here. I got to get back in the groove. Oh, I did want to stamp this on the inside. So it says, thank you for everything. And then I have another little sentiment from the stamp set that says, life is better with friends like you. I just want to kind of put that in the middle. We'll see what happens if I can get it in the middle. It's close enough. And maybe we'll go with 
a little flower here at the bottom. There we go. Okay, done. Wow, that was an amazingly putsy card. All right, let's get some of this stuff out of the way and bring in our next project. Okay. Wow, hopefully this will not be as putsy as that was. Okay, I mean, putsy cards are okay sometimes, but there's also some time when you really want to just get stuff done. So hopefully this next card will be a get stuff done kind of card. I think it will be because it's pretty simple. All right, I have just got junk literally everywhere. Gosh. Okay, clean up the mess because I can't stand a mess. Okay, next, we're going to use the color and contour set. And this is one of the swap cards that I'm going to make for you guys that I was working on while I was visiting my daughter. I was quickly getting all of them cut and put together so that I could mail them out when I got home because there was, of course, a deadline, which is Monday, and I barely got them out. So yay me. So we're going to use the color and contour set. I'm going to use this particular um, flower right here. I know, Elaine, you're always telling me that, and you're always so sweet. I just, I just feel bad because I don't want anybody that's watching me to, you know, you get negative comments from people that tell you, oh my gosh, you talk too much. You should stop talking, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're just rude. People, some people are just rude. And they sometimes forget that when they're being rude, they're being rude to somebody who's, I mean, I'm a real person, you know, I have feelings and, you know, yeah, but they don't care or they forget or something, their life is so crappy that they don't, they don't care, I guess. So anyways, so I'm always trying to, I don't want to make anybody mad or I don't want to cause somebody to feel like they have to leave me some crappy comment and tell me that I talk too much or just whatever, whatever somebody feels like saying, you know, your nails are crappy. Yeah, I know my nails are crappy because I don't care about them. Just stupid stuff like that. So, so I'm always trying to, um, prevent those negative comments. Cause like I said, I'm a real person. I have feelings. And when people are mean, that kind of makes me sad. So anyway, we're using this amazing stamp set and we're going to use that long skinny flower. We're also going to use the dies that are, they go together. This is a bundle and we're going to use this die here. And this is like, uh, number five or number four from the middle or whatever. And you guys are all so sweet. Not you guys. There's just other people that are rude. Not you guys. Like when I load it on YouTube, that's where it seems to be the, the rude people are on YouTube. So I don't know if they just hang around and if they're just like professional rude people, maybe that's their job. I don't know. But they need to get a different one if that's the case. Okay, so we are also going to use some of our new designer series paper. And I know I've told you guys this before, but I am in love with all th these patterns this year. I didn't love the patterns last year. They were okay, but I love these patterns. And so we're going to use some Coastal Cabana. Um, if you follow Dina, you know this is the color that lets us know God loves us because that's her favorite saying about Coastal Cabana cardstock. And so we're going to use some of this. And I've already got that cut somewhere. Here we go. So I've got two pieces, one for the outside of the card, one for the inside. And I also have my card base, which is um, a basic gray, dark gray. And then I have cut a half, almost a half, of this die with the, what is this, smoky slate. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the tiny hands. Jan, thank you for mentioning that. We haven't had Handy Mandy in here. Handy Mandy's been on vacation too. <gasps> Here she is, but she does need a new manicure because her manicure is old. And look, she's touched herself again and she's gotten her fingernail polish on her hands. So she's still married, still has her fantastic big old diamond ring on that finger. And yeah, I, I totally forgot about Mandy. See what I'm telling you? I've been gone too long. I don't know what's going on down here. I mean, as far as I know, Mandy's been, who knows what Mandy's been doing while I was gone. Could be anything. Okay, inside of the card. This is the tiny little piece of paper that we are going to stamp on. So I need a scratch paper. So I'm going to pull in one of my little six by six Stamparatus uh, papers. I think these might be a little bigger than six by six. Maybe the grid area is six. Well, this is six by six. Oh yeah, it's bigger. Maybe they're like seven by seven. I don't know. Whatever they are, they're like the perfect size. Um, yes. So I need black ink. Here we go. Oh, whoops. That's not my new one. Hold on. Well, I just had it in this bucket that I literally just used with you guys five minutes ago. Now I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, well, we're going to have to use this one. This one isn't just black. My new one is a lot darker. I really like it. So we're just going to ink this up, but maybe a lot more. 
while I kind of scan the uh, stamp table with my eyeballs and see if I can find, I can't. Okay, so we are going to stamp this like so. Ooh, now you guys can get a really good view of my fantastic bracelet that my daughter made. Yeah, she makes them for me frequently, like for different seasons, different holidays, that kind of stuff, which is really fun. And then, because they do get a little bit um, dirty as they're on your wrist all the time. Um, and so then I just change them out because she likes making them. And so she just says, I'll make you as many as you want. Okay, I'll take as many as you'll make me. I forgot this little stamp here. Let me find a block. We'll pick that up. And we're going to use some Coastal Cabana. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to try to do a little trick on this uh, inking. I've been doing this a lot lately, and I really like it, um, this little technique. You know, it might look like crap, so we're going to test it on a, piece of, on a piece of scratch paper first. Did I get ink on that? Yes, I did. Okay. So here's our scratch paper, and we're going to set that aside, and we're going to ink this up in the Coastal Cabana first. And then I've been really digging, like taking a sponge dauber and dipping it in like a darker color of ink. And then adding some of that darker colored ink, like to the base of a flower. I guess that's mostly what I've been doing is flowers because it's just, oh, and the peaches. I did it on the peaches too. Let's just see. I'm going to huff on it and we'll see how it turns out. Oh, okay. No, that's, that's bad. We're not doing that. It's almost like they... I don't know. It, it looks green to me, not Coastal Cabana. So, no. Okay, never mind. Nix that idea. But it does work really well with some things. Like with the peaches, if you ink them up in pale papaya and then you add um, some Calypso Coral. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Am I selling? No, she doesn't sell them. She just likes to make them for her friends. So, there you go. Okay, that part's done. Now, I also need my Smoky Slate Marker. Because the smoky slate is going to be the leaves, which, I mean, is kind of silly. But you know what? When you're stamping and making a card, you can literally make flowers do whatever you want. So if I want gray leaves, I can have gray leaves on it. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to kind of outline that leaf there. Get that little thing in that leaf there. Okay. Let me close up my inks. Really disappointed that didn't work out. I thought it would. Maybe Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana aren't like the um, the colors that go together. So there you go. Oh, Terry says she'll be my daughter's friend if she'll make her a bracelet. <laughs> I love it. I'll let her know, Terry. We'll see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm going to add this to this little section of the scallop rectangle that I cut. And I'm going to add it with some seal adhesive. And I cut this little piece here to two by two and five eighths. This is how I want it to go on. So I realize it's upside down, but I always work better when I'm using my right hand to position things and my left hand to kind of guide. So that's why I do that. Okay, now we need our strip of designer series paper and we're gonna just run a strip of seal and then we're gonna add this. Whoops, oh, don't do this to me today. Have mercy on me, because I haven't stamped in a long time. Okay, there we go. And we're going to try that again. There we go. And I think this might be a tiny bit long, and I am correct about that. But as I always say, better to be too long than too short. Because if it's too short, you kind of can't add anything to it. So, okay, now this, I don't want this. So I'm going to cut that off, okay? So let me bring in my little handy dandy trimmer that I really wish Stampin' Up! would sell because I know a million of you would like this and I would like to be able to sell it to you. Okay, so I cut that off so we're flush and I'm just going to add that to the card right here, right next to the designer series paper. About like so. Okay, and now I'm going to stamp my little sentiment right down there at the bottom so I need my ink back. Here's an ink. Oh, this might be, is this my nice one? No. Oh, this is, oh, I found it. Hee hee hee, yay. I have like three memento pads and they're really, really old. So I just got myself a new one. I treated myself to a new one and it really does stamp better. So I might replace all of them. Okay, we're gonna try to line this up. I don't have a 
thing on that, but I think it's fine. Okay, so now on the inside, I'm going to wipe that ink off my hands. I'm going to add some DSP to the bottom of my inside layer. This is a three quarter inch strip, whereas the one on the front is a one inch strip. Okay, and this is also a bit too long, but again, better to be too long than too short. And we'll just snip that off. And then where's my, oh, everything is always right in front of my face, but yet I can't see it. Part of the problem is I do need glasses to see at like arm's length. I can see pretty good at like, you know, a book reading distance, which this is a little farther than book reading distance from my eyeballs to this table. And so sometimes I can't see that, I can't see perfectly. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? <laughs> I wanted to stamp the flower down here at the bottom. <laughs> Oops, maybe we can make that happen, we'll see. Okay, well, while we're waiting for Barb to figure out if she can make that happen, we're gonna stamp the You Are Absolutely Amazing in here. Uh, try to make it straight. I don't think that is. Nope. But you know what? We're going to go with it because it's a handmade card and is what it is. I think I'm going to try to put my uh, grid paper right here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I think so. My grid paper right here covering up my designer series paper while I, and I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to try to stamp just like the top of the flowers. Just kind of so it's like pretending that they're coming up from underneath the designer series paper, but I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see. And I got a lot of excess ink on there, so I must be careful. Ugh. Sometimes this works and sometimes it does not. Okay, I can, I can handle that. I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. Then the last thing we're going to do on this card is... Uh, bring my little metallic pearls back. These have actually been in the catalog for a few years and I don't always use them and I sometimes honestly I forget that we have them but I used them on my swap card and so I'm going to use them. I want to do it here. I forgot what I did with them. I'm not showing you my swap card quite yet. Oh yes. So I put one up here and then I put a couple right down here just so there's a little bit of shine, a little bit of fun. Um, these are very small, so they're not going to add really any bulk to your card. And let me burnish that down because it seems like it's not flat. So there it is. And this is actually my swap card. I did it in the um, polished pink. But then for you guys, I always like to show you guys like another version of something that I've already made, like a different color, because I don't know if you guys agree with me. Maybe you don't. I like seeing like the same card made in more than one color. For some reason, that just makes me happy. So now I'm happy. And then I do have a few um, color contour cards to show you. So here's the one I made. Here's my swap. Here's one. I think I made this for you guys a few weeks ago uh, before I left town. Um, and you can see I use those fun dies. They're called something borders. I don't remember. Terry's going to help me out and tell me what it is. I'm pretty sure. Right, Terry? Please, 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 please. Uh, there may be some kind of border die. And then here's another one using a different die in that set. Another border die. This kind of makes an envelope point, which is pretty cool. And then here's a card that I just thought was really pretty that I got in a swap. And it's gray. So I kind of have this gray purple theme going here with these three cards and then I have gray up here. So anyway, I just thought you guys might appreciate seeing some other options, some other samples. So let me go ahead and put those aside and we'll get the stuff for our final project. Okay. So for this card, I, I'll show you the card that I'm copying after we're done. But um, the card that I'm copying had some strips of designer series paper. And I couldn't decide what I wanted to use. And I thought about using this. And then it dawned on me. I remembered that the back side of this paper is black and white. And this is the uh, Pattern Party host only designer series paper that you can purchase with host dollars. Um, if you have $150 or more party, you can use your host dollars to purchase this paper. So anyway, so it's got black and white patterns on the back, which is really fun. I'm sure you've all seen this before, but I'm going to show you again. So here are all the patterns. Actually... There's a double set in here. So here's all the lovely black and whites. And for my card, I chose this dotted pattern, this striped pattern, and one other pattern, the buffalo check. 
And then the front side of these papers is just so fun and cute and colorful. And how can you not like it? It's just, it's so fun and colorful. Okay. So we're going to use that. Let me show you my strips that I picked. So they're one inch strips. Whoops. There's one, two, three. And I've got some other little pieces back here. And I'll show you guys my thought process as I was trying to design this card like about, I don't know, an hour ago. So it was like 20 minutes before I went live. But thankfully I had received a swap card that had this basic layout so that I could copy that. So half of the work was already done. So I decided to use, since my class for the month, my class to go is using the all squared away bundle. I decided, oh, I'll use the all squared away bundle so you guys can sort of see a few of the dies in action, check out the stamp set. I may or may not use one of these stamps. I'm not completely sure yet because like I said, I wasn't completely done with the card when I went live. So we're going to kind of work through it together. So I did go ahead and die cut one of the square dies that's in here. So I chose that little guy. Here are the dies. So I chose this one here. There's also this fun one that you can add these little flowers to the top, which is fun. Now this one, it does have two little flowers that you can add to the top that you can add. So you can die cut this like I did in white. And then I'm going to, well, I already did it, but I die cut these in some of our shimmery vellum to put over the top of those. And then there's this die here and it has a flower, an additional flower that you can use. Um, and I did find, I don't know why they didn't give us this flower, but it's easy enough. I decided that you could just run this die through say Bermuda Bay and then just snip out this little flower pretty simply um, to put it over that if you desire. And then there's this one that has its little matching die too. So it's a really fun set of cute flowers. And I don't know about you guys. I always say to myself, oh my gosh, I have so many flower sets, but yet I just, I love flowers. So I just keep buying more flower sets because I love flowers. So anyway, that I've done already. And I will get out the flowers and show you those in the shimmery vellum. Hold while I pick one up off the floor so I don't lose it. And so here I have these cut out of the shimmery vellum. So I hope that you can sort of see as I'm kind of wiggling my hand around as it's picking up the light, that there's actually like, I don't know, it's like a layer of Wink of Stella painted on this paper. That's the best way I can describe it is it's colored vellum and it looks like Wink of Stella has been colored over the top of it. So anyway, I die cut all these little flowers out of that and we're just gonna of course add them to our little die here. And I'm gonna do that right now with a little bit of liquid glue. And the vellum is such that it's not a super big problem if you don't like to hide to hide your glue. I have found that this vellum has enough, um, enough going on that your um, glue doesn't show through. So that's nice. Okay, so that was easy enough. Those little guys we're gonna use, um, a, excuse me, a little later. Then I couldn't decide if I wanted to have a, just a piece of the fresh freesia behind the flowers, and then I'm going to layer it on this little square of black. Or I took this little dotted stamp here. Oh, there's a horrible glare. I'm sorry. This little dotty stamp right here. And I stamped it full strength on one side of this little piece of paper. And then again on the back side. And because I have all this busy paper going on I'm not sure how I feel about having a busy background underneath my flower so that's where we kind of need to work oh, oh gosh there's something in my throat <coughs> excuse me work together to figure it out so here it is with the really dark um, image stamped behind it which by itself is really cute there's I would love to have this on a card you know this would be really super cute but when I stick it with my papers, I, I'm almost thinking it's it's like too much. You know, it's like too many patterns going on here. So that's why I kind of thought, well, maybe I could flip it over and use the not so dark side. So there's a tiny bit of texture there. But again, I'm not really sure if that's too much. So I need your help. I need you to either comment blank, which will be this, dark, or light. So you guys tell me if you want blank, dark, or light. Okay. And then we'll figure it out. 
Ooh, we've got darks. Okay, I did not think we were going to go that way. Oh, we got one blank. So we got two darks and a blank, three darks and a blank, one light, two blanks. What about the black? Back just black. Oh, Kathy, that might actually. You guys, hold on here a moment. Kathy threw a, a curveball to us. Whoa. Okay. I'm kind of feeling the black, honestly. So now that you guys have all commented and I've made everybody do something, and I kind of, it kind of looks to me like dark is winning. Oh, but Barbara says black also. Ha <laughs> Barbara and Kathy are my team members and they have the same brain. <laughs> they both said he was black. <laughs> I think you're right though, you guys, because after you said that and I stick it on there, wow, problem solved. <laughs> Okay. Yay. I love it when we do this. I love coming on here, not completely ready and having you guys help me. So yay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So before I actually stick these on, I do have a tiny little stamp that I wanted to stamp in the corners and it actually comes to us from the lovely you stamp set. And I'm going to use this little leafy thing here. So let me pull it out, get it on a block and go with the fresh freesia. Where did I put it? Right here. So I'm just going to kind of, just right in the corner, I'm just going to kind of stamp this. Oh my, that might be way too dark. We'll have to see. We may have to vote again if this is too dark. Oh, or if it's crappy stamping. Arr! Come on, Barb. Well, ugh. nope, that's a total fail. But we're going to look and see what we think. Okay, so I'm thinking that might be too dark. You might either have to go with like, what do you call it? Versamark. No, oh, maybe not. I don't know. So we've got the black. We're good to go with that. Thank you so much, Kathy. You rock. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that that's too much, that that's too dark. So let me try something else here, you guys. Well, let me see what it, since we're not using this side now, I've changed because I screwed up the stamping. How does it look? <gasps> yes. Okay. Let's do this. Since we know we're not going to use the middle of the card, we can use it as our stamping off part here. And try that. Stamp that off. Maybe do that. Stamp it off. And then try to get the entire image on there. Okay, I think that's going to work. Then we can bring our papers back in here. And again, we need to kind of cover up all that stuff we did in the middle. I think that'll work. Just, I felt like I needed a little something, uh, just a little something. So let me add adhesive to all of these papers. Where is my, here it is. We'll do that. Oh, I think we can hide that. See, and I'm always telling myself, Barb, close your stamp pads. You know better than to do that. Here we are. Okay. No. Oh. All right, so I'm going to put, now I'm going to flip it around. Hmm, am I going to flip it around? Maybe I can put a gem there. We'll see, or a flower. We'll see, because that's going to bother me. But I don't feel like cutting another piece of paper, so we're just, we're just going to, we're just going to wing it. And then this one, I think, I don't want it to look like it's too perfect, but I also don't want it to be too random. Does that even make sense? Um, where's my twine? It was here because I pulled it out of the package. Anyway, I'll find it. But oh, here it is. The snail mail twine combo pack is on sale for $3.50. So even if you don't like blushing bride, I know you like white. So you can get the white. Okay. So we are going to wrap this around a couple of times. And we're going to attach the ends to the back. So let me snip that off. Okay. And I kind of want it to be a little bit, yeah, not like that. That's not what I was feeling at all. I kind of want them to cross on the front of the card a little bit. We'll see if this will work. I'm just making a gigantic mess of the back of this card. I think that might work. Okay, now we have to get this on here, so we're going to add some more liquid glue. 
to everything and I'm trying to have it be a super super skinny bead as you can probably tell uh, this little piece of black paper if you guys are wondering is a two by two so a two by two is like the perfect size to layer this on if you were wondering this will not be one of the cards that's in my I could have embossed that now that I'm looking at my comments Denise I could have I just didn't what are you gonna do um, so yeah this is not um, one of the cards in my class but it's really cute. I kind of want this crisscross. Well, it's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to do that with some dimensionals. Uh, every time I'm trying to find them, they're gone. But luckily, we have a lot of dimensionals in this stamp area. I think two is good. Okay, so we're not going to have this be centered because nothing about this card is like perfectly centered. So we're not going to continue we're not going to do that um and i'm going to actually put my sentiment on the inside so i need some more dimensionals oh my gosh i can smell that dinner up there it's making me very hungry whoops so thank goodness this is my last card so i can go eat he 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 i really love eating food that i don't prepare I'm just going to throw that out there it's the best kind of food there is, food that I don't make. Okay, so we're gonna add this. And then we have our cute little flowers here that we're gonna add, and I think we're gonna do that with some glue dots, if I can find them again. They gotta be, here they are. Okay. I don't need my take your pick tool because I have a Band-Aid on my finger because I have like a hangnail that keeps bleeding and it's super annoying. Okay, now we need to find a place to put all... Oh, what the heck? Apparently I unlocked that. Okay, we're going to put one here to cover up my little boo-boo. And I don't know, maybe we should put one on this flower or maybe right above it, maybe to the side. Sometimes I just throw them on there and figure it'll be fine. Because I'm also going to add some gems because I have... Because we can order these now, you guys. They're back in the store. So, yay. Okay, so we're going to add... That actually might be a little large. Hold, please. Let's try these little ones instead. Ooh, what if we did it? No, I just lost it. Oh, it's right here. I need to bring it up a little closer to my eyeballs. Okay. Oh, and I did, I should mention that I have an ordering special for you guys from now through, I think it's the 21st. I can't remember. Um, if you order $75 from me, you will get a package of these fabulous gems and you will get my global project tutorial, which is, um, amazing. A bunch of us from around the globe. Sorry, I am cutting paper. A bunch of us from around the globe get together and create a project tutorials um, each month, and we gift them for a $75 order. And so you get that and the gems from me if you order $75. Oh my, what is that? That's like somebody... We're going to hide that. It's like I cut this piece of paper and I didn't know that I cut it. How does, how does that happen to me all the time? This dumb stuff. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay. We are going to do some fresh freesia on the inside now. So we're taking a couple of sentiments from the set. And we're going to hope that they're straight. And I think I see ink on my knuckles. So that's pretty handy. They're not. Ever since I got my cataract fixed, I can't stamp straight. Can anyone make sense of that? There it is. Okay. There is our last card. So let me get this ink off my fingers and everything so that when I bring in my cards, I don't <laughs> get ink all over everything. Oh, Mandy, can you hold this for me for a moment? Mandy is so helpful. Okay, so here is our card using the All Squared Away bundle. And of course, that's my class of the month. You can find the links to that class in the description of the video. So Mandy, can you move that over to the side just for a second? Thank you so much. Um, this is the uh, color and contour cards. You can see I have a flower theme. I love flowers so much. I can't stop using them. 
And then our last card was the Flowers of Friendship bundle. I'm um, using the stamp. No, not. What is it called? Blah, 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 blah. Stamparatus. Lost my head. Um, to make all these fun little. Oh, I need to get that ink off my hand. Um, to use this little border stamp. So super cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed these cards. I certainly did enjoy stamping with you tonight. I love hanging out with you guys and I am so excited to be back and I will be back next week. Also, all the links to everything that I have and do are always in the description of this video. So you can check out everything that I do that way. And thank you so much for watching you guys. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.